on her is that I know you're tired. But she ready now. She's ready now. It's very difficult when I say I'm ready, I'm ready, but she ready now. You're not, you're not going to, she's shaking her head. You don't have to tell me I'm a prophet. This is what I do. I am not anybody. I'm a little girl from Brooklyn that God decided to have a voice. She's ready now. She's got a good family, but she's ready now. Hear me. God is amazing. I serve a mind-blowing God. I'm sorry you turned your back on him, America. I'm sorry. But I can guarantee you, he about to show us all who he is. It's funny when people sell God's show. You ever, I mean, in Brooklyn, Terry, they used to say, yo, don't, show, don't sell me show. Y'all said that in the South. Don't sell God show. Because he will show you. He'll say, what? You think I can't do that? Yo, y'all know who you talking to. I'm God. I made this earth from nothing. I said it this week. Atheists don't believe. But they do. Because before you believe that he ain't God, first of all, you got to believe he is. Let me get a word of God so y'all can eat y'all's crab legs. And your chicken and your chitlins and your whatever it is y'all going to eat. Miss Gray. Yeah, she know her name. She just got married. Miss Gray, come here, Miss Gray. Canada Bagashika. I need you to do me a favor, Miss Gray. Stand right here. Stand in the back of me. Anamakasa, stand right here. The young lady by the door. Bring her to me. Six feet social distancing. Welcome to Unity Church, Charlotte. We're located at 2818 Queen City Drive, Charlotte, North Carolina. I am the pastor, one of them, Apostle Fred D. Good. We need my future. Oh, how and I am Pastor Miller, young, super oh, good, and very fast. you to get her number and labor with her. Her and Zach, they just got married, so she walking a little different this morning. Amen. Get her number and labor with her. I'm assigning you to her. Listen to me. Happy Mother's Day to you all. I'm going to give you the word of God, and we're going to get out of here. And I'm going to be quick, fast, in a hurry. Those of you online, again, it is a national day of mourning for some of us who lost their mothers. I lost my mother uh, my sister Kenya, Joy, and Mark, and we all lost our mother years ago. But I thank God for all of you who are celebrating and some are rejoicing. I'm going to say it really quickly to my friend G. We are praying for you, baby. He just lost his mother a couple days ago. 
And so days like this is very difficult. Um, some mothers are in the hospital. We're praying, Josh, she coming home. I ain't taking nothing else. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I, I'm sorry, and I'm not. Huh? She's home. Well, amen. Amen. Praise God. She came home. The last I spoke, he said she was on a ventilator, so I'm glad that she's home. I don't take nothing. When he said, when he said to pray, that's what I did, and that's what I believe. I believe in the power of prayer. Um, I want to show you guys something. Put that on. We're going to take it down because I got to, I want to, you know, it's COVID-19 is getting on my nerves, just like everybody, because y'all know for Mother's Day, I do it big for the ladies and big for Father's Day, because that's what I do. I'm a giver. So I like to honor, I want to honor you ladies. I want to honor y'all. I just want y'all to see something. I do want to take this moment and I want to say happy Mother's Day to me. Happy Mother's Day to me. Happy Mother's Day, Mother Jackson. Happy Mother's Day, Mother Jackson. Happy Mother's Day, 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 IOP. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day to your grandmother. Happy Mother's Day, Mother Johnson. Happy Mother's Day, Mother Edward. Minister Stephanetta. Happy Mother's Day to my mother. To Missy. Sometimes I don't have words. To my mother and all my aunts. Well, happy Mother's Day to me. Happy Mother's Day, Mother Elizabeth. Happy Mother's Day, Shay Shay. Keisha, your mother is still with us. Happy Mother's Day, AP. Happy Mother's Day, Michelle. Happy Mother's Day, Andrea. Come on, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to me, Happy Mother's Day, Michelle. Happy Mother's Day, Keisha. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you who is under the sound of my voice. Here I cry for the impossible. Here I cry for the miraculous. Here I cry for the supernatural. We need our mothers. We need our mothers. The reason why I'm saying that is because you can turn that down, please. The reason why I'm saying that because you are so important until y'all don't realize that Jesus needed a mother. Did you know Jesus that turned water into wine and healed the blind and the lepers needed a mother? <laughs> it blew my mind, Apostle Fred, because it said that he made the earth from nothing. That's power. That you can take the world that was formed with just mere words. He could have done that with his own son. But he said, I need the womb because the womb has the ability to bring life. The life giver needed a life maker. So that's why when I get ready to preach this message that I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching from a specific place as a woman. Y'all important. Y'all tired. You frustrated. You raising the kids with a baby daddy or maybe not one or watching one that was with you raise someone else's kids when your kids are depleted. Zach stood in and, and I'm not saying anything but he said I'm going to be a good father to Lily. He said it. Me and Fred was right there. We all heard it. I <laughs> saw so you don't understand that that position as a mother, the world takes it for granted. Even mothers that have cancer still have to be mothers. Mothers that are sick, suffering from lupus, tears, I'm praying. You still got to be a mother. How about those that can't even bear children have to be mothers to the world? When your children will tell you to go to hell, you still got to be a mother. 
And so I just don't celebrate you this day. Oh, we do this all week long, all day long, all year long, all hour long. So as I begin to study the word of God, my sweet love, are you praying? Yes, you are. Put your hands up, self. God did that. I want you guys to go with me to Judges because I'm going to speak to you from the perspective of a woman. I happen to love being a woman. I say it all the time. I have, a, I have beautiful children together. How many we have together? Eight. But I promise you, they're all beautiful. And so my son is growing up and so around one something in the morning, he told me happy Mother's Day. Ladies, when it comes down to your sons, give them a minute. They late with it. Give them a minute. Right, right. Yeah, they late with it. It's always that sister's like, though, did you call mommy and say happy Mother's Day? Did you buy mommy a birthday card? It's always that older sister, right? They late with it, but they going to they gonna, they gonna get it. They going to get it. They going to get it. And so as I begin to read my son's text, and he said, Ma, I appreciate you. And then the doorbell rung, and, and then Dylan was like, Ma, I appreciate you. And, you know, they gave me this fruit. And then I woke up, and, and, and I was like, wow. But even last night, Apostle Fred gave me this beautiful, beautiful array of roses. And he said, thank you. And I went in my office in the church, and Michelle, everybody was saying thank you. And I say, women are something else. Can you do me a favor? Come here, come here, come here, Kay. Cause Kay, come here, Kay, Kay, come on, come here. He always, I'm a preach. Hold on, come here. Why you be scared? You stay behind the camera. Why you scared? He be scared. I want you to do something for me. Okay, he's like, ooh, God. There's something about women that y'all seem to forget. Life made you forget. Domestic violence made you forget. Drugs made you forget. Did you know there's some mothers that are alcoholics? The Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. Dad made you forget. Mine almost missed it. Life will break down women and walk over us. Have you ever loved somebody back to health? And they say thank you and step over you and go get involved with somebody else. And sometimes it feel like God forgot. He ain't forget. Sometimes you feel like just the kids don't care. I don't care how much I do for the kids, they still don't get it. Wait, now, all my whistle blow is just, you can't honk your horn. All right, you're online, just go and give an emoji or amen. Have a watch party because I'm going to hit the gas and I'm going to make smother pork chops. Yes, God. Judges 4. I'm going to tell you about two women. Two women. Two women. Two women. I'm going to tell you about two women. One of their name is Deborah. Pay attention to me, gang. Pay attention, Charlie. 
One woman, her name was Deborah. The Bible says that she was a prophetess. Such as myself. That she sat underneath the palm trees and she made critical decisions for the people of God in Israel. And a lot of people hear this story, but I want to talk to you about another bad man, Majema. Named Jael. Yeah. These two women you don't really hear much about in the Bible. But they was bad. See, sometimes a brother ain't right till he get a good woman. Ain't that right, Fred? Hey, amen. Let me tell you something. Sometimes my daughter, let me tell you something. I remember when she went home to college, her first year, we going to Judges 4, and she was in the doctor because she wasn't feeling too great. And she sat there and she was shaking. And she said, it's my first year of college. And I think I'm sick. I said, well, what's wrong with you, Dylan? She says, because I don't have my mother's home-cooked food. I had a Funyun and a cupcake. That's all I had. And I think it made me sick because my stomach is used to my mother's home-cooked food. Then you got another child like Hunter that says, oh, I really don't care for your food. It's a little too spicy. And then I got to say, if you don't sit down and eat this food, you won't eat. And then the devil created DoorDash. <laughs> Ain't that right? But when the pendulum swing, he still need mom because he's like, can't have money for DoorDash. <laughs> See, y'all don't understand there's a significance to a mother that goes beyond the human expectation in life. Watch this. This is going to be good. We're going to have fun. The word of the Lord said this about this woman named De Deborah in Judges 4. It says, again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Now Ehad was dead. So the Lord sold them into the hands of Jabin, king of Cana, who reigned in Hazar. Syria, that guy, the commander of the army, was based in Hershoth, Himgam. Because he had 900 chariots fitted with army and had cruel oppressors and they oppressed the Israelites for 20 years. They cried to the Lord, but he did something. He sent this chick named Deborah. She was a prophet. She was a wife of Labadoth was leading Israel at the time. Hold on, wait a minute. Who said that women can't preach the gospel? Who said that women were not significant in the army of the Lord? Did I not tell you he needed a womb? Did I not tell you that there was a woman that went to the sepulchre or the temple and she went and she said, where is the body of the Lord? And they said, he's not here. And she ran and proclaimed so I've just upset 999 folks under the sound of my voice. I just made them very angry because they feel that women should not preach the gospel. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Can you explain why he chose this woman of God? So Deborah, the prophet, this woman, she was bad. She led Israel at that time. She held court under the palm tree between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the Israelites went up to her and they handled the disputes, meaning they went to the woman. That's right. Most husbands, you would be okay if you just listened to your wives. Why that funny, friend? Most brothers, men, you would be okay because somewhere this man said, man, my girl told me not to do that. Where my whistleblowers? I told him not to buy that car. If he bought one more piece of equipment, men are gadget fanatics. Right, Fred? Why you quiet, Josh? Why you quiet, Josh? They are gadget fanatics. You don't even know how to fix a car, but you gonna buy everything in AutoZone. 
should have listened to my mama. He told me not to marry that girl. Somewhere, there's a man sitting on the curb. Sorry he messed up. Somewhere, it's a man with a dog with all his clothes in the backpack with nowhere to go until he find her with her own place, her own car, good credit, and she get his life right. Oh, we're more significant than you give us to. What? I, listen here. I can be political. And I don't know, because of 45, maybe we'll get some woman in office that's going to fix this mess. But I can guarantee you somewhere there's a woman talking to 45. Donald Trump's mother said this. And I know they're going to pull it, but it's okay. He's a good businessman. But I hope he never runs for president. That's what she said. Mama said that. Google it. No, no, no kid. I wish they would have listened. The Bible said that this woman, she judged and she sat underneath the palm tree. The Bible said that this woman, she sent Barak, the son of Badam, and from Kedam, and from Nepal. And she said unto him, the Lord your God is with you. He's the commander. She said, now what I want you to do is take 10,000 men and take them all and lead them up to Mount Tamar. The leader, the lead, this guy, Syria, or Sisera. He was the commander of Jabin's army. With his chariots in troop, he went to Karish the river and gave them into the hand. Now, this is what happened. Barak. Oh, how we miss him. Barak said to her, if you go with me, Deborah, can you go? He asked her, because of your wisdom in this army, would you go with me? She said, sure, I'll go with you. She said, yes, I'm going to go with you. Certainly I will, she said. She said, but I'm going to tell you this as a prophet. Because of the course you're going to take, it's not going to work out in your favor. I'm sorry about that. She said, because of you and the course of action you take, it ain't going to end so well for you. She said, now, I'm going to hurt your feelings, but I got to tell you the truth. The honor ain't going to be yours. Because what you don't know, the Lord will deliver Caesarea or Syria into the hands of a woman. So basically she's saying, yeah, we going and I'm going to go with you. But, yo, check this out. It ain't going to end so well. Because what God's going to do, he's going to allow a woman to do what you were supposed to do. Okay. So we got Deborah down. I want to do something really quickly. I want to go to Judges and we're going to stay there because I want you to understand something that happened. The Bible says I've got to go here because I want to tell you a little something about Jael. Jael, say Jet. Jay went to me, Syria. Now put that stake up for me, please. Um, okay. She went and she met him and she said to him, she said, now watch this now because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this because y'all got to understand what's happening here. This man went up to Jerio. She had a relationship with him. And she saw him after the battle. The enemies were wiped out. I'm bringing you to the forefront now. And she's standing at the tent like this. Hello. Can I help you? So this king is now looking for shelter. He comes up to this woman and she says, how you doing? Can I help you with something? He says, listen. He said, I need somewhere to hide. Jael went to meet this man, Syria, and she said to him, come here, my Lord. Come right into my tent. Now, mind you, she had a man. Fred would not have had that. Right, friend? Okay. Don't be afraid. So he entered into her tent 
and she covered him up with a blanket. Lay down here, you're tired. See, what she did is she tapped into her femininity for a purpose. I want you to lay down here, you're tired. I'm thirsty. Can you please give me some water? Oh, sure, sweetie. She opened up a skin of milk and she gave him something to drink. And then after she gave him something to drink, she covered him up. She stood at the doorway of the tent. He told her, can you do me a favor? Sure. If anyone asks, did you see me? Say no. Really? Oh, you want me to lie for you? Okay. Just lay down. I got you. But Jael, Hebron's wife, she picked up a tent spake, peg, and a hammer. Put that up. I want them to see what she did. Put up the tent peg. She picked up a tent's peg. And while he was sleeping, because he was exhausted of running because he had lost the war, she drove the peg through the temple of his head. She drove a temple through this man's head while he was sleeping. And she came and said, come here, come here, come here, come here. I want to show you something. This is the man that y'all looking for. So she went over where he was laying and she pulled the cover back and he was dead. This king was persecuting all Israel. If you allow me for a period of time to tell you it takes one woman. Oh, it's about to get good. Yeah, it takes one woman. Yeah, the ladies out there in the back, they shaking their head. Uh huh. You may not like this message, but I promise you it's the one you're going to get. Mm -hmm. It takes one woman to get your life right. Uh huh. It takes one woman for you to build something with. Uh huh. It takes one woman to take you from zero to a hundred uh, real quick. It takes one woman. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, Fred is laughing. Why am I ride and die? Chick shit. It takes one. Oh, come on, Terry. It takes one woman to get your life right. It's a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Y'all don't understand what happened. This woman, Jerry, or Jay, or whatever y'all want to say, she took a spike and drove it through a sucker's head. She did it because Deborah said, I know the men are bringing them out, bringing them out, but it's going to take one woman to shut it down. Let me say, y'all, it takes one woman, happy Mother's Day, to shut it down. Down. Uh -huh. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. Happy Mother's Day. See that? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible said that she killed a general. Y'all don't even know the ranks in that because the general was the head of the army. She didn't have to do nothing. Watch this. One thing about a confident woman, she needs a confident man. Give me some. A confident man will say, Go on and do it, baby. I'm going to reap the benefits of it. It's a one woman. This bad mama Jamma, she said, listen here, I'm going to win this war. The Bible said he took 10,000 chariots, and I understand that the men hit him low, but she hit him high. Hey. Carlos, you know that look? How you doing? Can I help you with something? You know, she was biting that bottom lip. Can I help you with something? You looking for somebody? See, you understand something. Huh? Hold on, wait, hold on. Fred said, wait, hold on. Now, don't get. Baby, I'm, come on, Belle, come on. 
You don't understand. When a woman got a motive to win something for a man, oh God, she got, well, y'all don't get, okay, y'all think I'm kidding. Hold on. Let me help you ladies with something. Proverbs 9 says this. It said, a wise woman. A wise woman will build up a house, but a foolish one will tie down with a hands. Sorry if you tore down your house. These two bad men, pajamas, build their house with wisdom. Uh, Y'all don't like the message today? Mother's Day anyway, because you don't understand. Women have forgot who they are. Women have allowed domestic violence to get them out of whack. They've allowed overwhelmingness to get them out of whack, even if they got cancer. I understand, but you're still beautiful. And God said, despite it all, I'm going to use the woman to bear my son. I'm going to use the woman to put a spike through the head of Syria and win all Israel. It takes one woman. See, I like to deal with that baby at. Where, where was she? She in a car. As I walked inside of the sanctuary today, this cute little girl came skipping with a beads in her head. She was like, and the confidence on that child was illuminated. I had to stop my tracks because of the confidence of this child. And I'm here to tell you, where's the confidence? You come here, baby. Come here. Hold on. Okay, here she come. I'm gonna show y'all son. Come here, boo-boo. Come here. Uh-huh. Turn around, mama. Uh-huh. Wave to the people. Go like this. Say hi. Uh -huh. Look at her. See? Thank you, baby. She says, no. Well, let's preach. See, y'all don't understand. At some good... Hold on, Kayla. See, women preach, too. Okay. You gonna hold that for me? See, women preach, too. Say, we gonna preach like a girl. All right. See, what you don't understand... At some good time in your life, you were small like this. You had confidence, a bow in your head, and some bees. But life got you, and now you're in situations where somebody said you weren't beautiful. Somebody said you was overweight. Somebody said you're not good enough. But God said, listen here, your trash is about to be somebody's treasure. It take one woman to get you right. It take one woman to change your life. It takes one woman to turn your life around. And God said, I use the woman. I'm the only one allowed to do it. God said, it takes one woman to change your thing. Hear me. I need to speak to the women for a moment. The census is our day. I could, Terry. I could, Michelle. I need you to tap into who God says you was. He said, if you give me the ashes, I'll give you the beauty. I say it all the time. You want the beauty, but you ain't ready to burn from nothing. Hear me. God said, go through it so I can radiate you and glorify you because life has broke you down. Remember the bar, remember jail. They knew who they were in God. They did not allow a man to put them in the place. They did not allow society to say you can't even be in the presence of a commissioner or army. They use what God gave them to do what God told them. And I'm saying, ladies, do what God tell you with what He gave you. It takes one woman. Nah. Uh -huh. 
behind you. This gonna hurt these two women. They didn't allow the circumstance to take the faith that they had that we could do this thing. Why is it? You need to take that thing off because we going outside. Why is it that sisters have become so jealous of each other? Happy Mother's Day to you. But yet and still, the women of the Bible, the Bora didn't say, well, she can't do that. The Bora didn't say, I don't like your hair. The Bora did not say, there ain't no real red bottoms. The Bora didn't say, I take your man. The Bora said, let me give you the truth. There's going to be a woman that's going to do better than you. And God said, it takes one obedient woman to do the will of God. And God said, it's going to take one woman that I will use. And God said, I shall use you. Happy Mother's Day, lady. Oh, oh. It kills me because people got a problem with women. They tell us we can't preach. They say we only good for laying on our back. You can say what you want about my back. But if I get on my knees, it's over. Because the praying woman is who God chose. The daughters of Zion, they cried and prayed. And God said, the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous woman to that much don't you allow society to tell you you ugly and you fat and you stupid don't allow any addiction to take you out of here when God said that I've ordained you to do a work don't you allow the jealousy of a sister or a mother some of you it's happy mother's day and some of you is like I ain't calling her The Bible says a wise woman builds up her house, but a foolish one tears it down with a hand. I'm praying for all of the foolish women. Your man ain't good enough for you to get a meal, but you won't get mad. He get a side chick making them filet mignon. Really? If you don't get up out of that bed and make that sandwich. You don't like me, it's okay. It's okay. Some women, you got to go back and read the women of the Bible because they were honored. Listen. Ooh. You got my back. Let me tell you something. What do you need me to do, my Lord? What do you need me to do, my Lord? Because that's what I said. What do you need me to do, my Lord? People are like, oh, see, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. See, there is an honor that I have for the right one. The right one. I said the right one. Y'all ain't get it, right? I said the right one. And God said, listen to me. Some women have been foolish. You know you ruined your house. I had a woman call me last week. Her life is shot. And she should have made it work with her husband. That was her husband. Some men don't feel like they're good enough and they're doing everything. Some men are cooking, cleaning, taking care of the kids, watching their kids, your kids. You're foolish. You're foolish. If this big old good looking
African man tell me that he want pork chops at 3 a.m. in the morning? I'm going to kill a pig, gut it, fry it, and Google where I can find the pork chops in a pig belly. And some of you can't even get your, I, 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 I count someone all over the world, Mo. And there's some mean jokers out here. But you want to be a wife. Happy Mammy Day. You want to be a wife? No, you don't want to be a wife. You tired of paying bills by yourself. So why should I do it for him? Let me help you out. Let me help you. 2818 Queen City Drive, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's full of women. Thank God for Fred. Baby, mama used to say, my mama used to say, what you don't do, somebody else will. Happy Mama Day. You have to understand. 
understand that these women were smart. Proverbs 31 said that these women, they honored their husband. They weren't afraid of the merchant. And I'm going to say this to you. Maybe you had been beaten up. But do you have the courage to know that you can recover from anything? I'm going to tell you something. It's Mammy Day. I love chicken liver. Shut up, Josh. But I haven't had good chicken liver because my mother's no longer here. And so I used to take a chicken liver sandwich and I used to put Hellman's mayonnaise on it and Miracle Whip and onions. It sounds nasty, but if my mother wasn't making it. It would just be like, ah. Oh. I'm going to tell you something. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because life will beat, it'll beat you down till you don't even know who you are. It'll take everything out of you. But women are very creative. We will take the nastiest thing and make it better. We will take a fried bologna sandwich and put some mustard on two slices of bread and it'll be so good. We'll make tomato. See, we have, watch this. We have a level of creativity that God gave us and didn't give it to man. So with you being beaten up, I need you to hunker down and pull up your courage and come up with some creativity because it took a woman to say, I'm a driver, nail through this man's head. Hold on. If that wasn't creative, Carlos, I don't know what was. It simply means, watch it. JL took a tent peg. She took a, it, it was almost like, it was about this long. That means at some point in time, she had to be thinking. That I'm getting ready to be in a position to win. And you are in a position to win. All you got to do is tap into your creativity. You're in a position to recover from domestic violence. All you got to do is tap into your creativity. You're in a position to win, sugar. All you got to do is come up with an exit strategy. You're in a position to win, child. All you got to do is believe God I can recover from it all. You are in a position to win. Because God said. It takes one woman. It took one woman. Some women, under the sound of my voice, God says, I give you mind blowing ability to get wealth. Yeah, you could cook sugar. You could clean, darling. You could sew, baby. You could do hair, lovely. I got her. You could do nails, sugar. I got her. You know how to make a cake, Mother Cece. You make the best crab sauce around. God says, tap into your creativity because jail did. She tapped into the creativeness of God and he gave it to women. There's women under the sound of my voice. And God says, I'm giving you a business. Do you trust me? Huh? It's women under the sound of my voice. Huh? God said, do you trust me huh? to be creative and write the book, Michelle? Huh? God said, can you trust me huh? and be creative huh? to start the makeup line? Are you going to trust me huh? and be creative huh? and bake the pies? Are you going to be creative? Huh? God gave Jael huh? a level of creativity. Huh? He set her up huh? to win the battle. Huh? In a creative way, huh? giving instruction huh? through another woman. Huh? And God said, Ladies, huh? where two or three huh? are gathered in my name huh? and touch and agree, huh? I will wake up your creativity. Huh? God is saying, huh? It takes one woman. Just one. One woman to change your life. My heart goes out to you that got connected to the wrong one. You look a mess. The wrong woman. Some of you got Delilah. Come here, Samson. Where does your strength lie? Tell me. Is it in your hair? Some of you men got Hosea. 
Oh gosh. Jose, if he was here, he would say, God, you mean to tell me that I, 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 I'm going to turn the hole into the housewife? Some of your mamas is praying because you done got connected to this. There's a lot of good women out here. See, we don't see those. Social media always shows us. No, don't, forget it. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, dancer. Dancer, dancer. <laughs> Get it? Did I do it, honey? See, society has shifted our femininity, and the women back then they understood the power of their femininity. Read this Bible; they were bad. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm I'm say this, and we gonna get out of here. There's I, I'm a pastor, but I have knowledge. I read. Stuff that y'all be like, oh my gosh, she reading that? Yup. I love Chinese proverbs. There's an old Chinese proverb, watch this, that says, show me a man that can control his flesh and I can show you a man that can build an empire. Watch this. Samson, he committed suicide. He did. He pushed the boulders down on himself. Over what? Running after tail. David got in trouble over what? A piece of tail. It's always over a piece of tail. I feel a cartwheel in my spirit. Y'all shut up. See, men, if you don't get it, every, and I deal with NFL players, just about every man that I deal with is in trouble over what? A piece of tail. A piece of tail. Like, like, tail gonna be here when you die. Tail is all in the Bible. It's all in the Bible. But did you know the majority of the women that were in the Bible, they were warriors. Esther was a warrior. Deborah was a warrior. Jael was a warrior. Rahab was a warrior. Abigail was a warrior. Ab, Ab, yo, Ab is my dude. We gonna hurry up and go. And y'all get your tithing off already because we gonna win. Abigail was my chick. Abigail's husband's name was Nebal. The word Nebal means fool. And he was just mean. Like that last joke I was with. Mean. It's the fool. And the Bible said that what had happened was he, he, he got that David said what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a decree in the land that when I knock on the door, any of my soldiers knock on the door hi, I come in the authority of King David. When they say that, give them everything that they need because they're going to protect you during the war. This joker has King David's men knock at the door. He's like, what y'all want? Now, mind you, they just kept them safe. This joker slams the door. Bam! Slams it in the face of King David's boys. They went and told David, David got the entire army and said, we going to Abigail's house to kill him. Abigail jumped down from the house. She said, get the raisins, get everything that is valuable, and we're going to bring it to David. He was sleep drunk. I bless you all you ladies dealing with an alcoholic. He was somewhere drunk in a stupor sleep. And they was coming to kill him in a whole house. Abigail jumps down. She said, wait, Zaya, please don't do this. This is all for y'all. All of it. The Bible said that she saved her family when her husband almost got him killed. What am I saying? Listen to your wives. Listen to your lady. But make sure she's smart. There's <laughs> a difference. Make sure she's smart. Don't use her. If she is smart, it ain't going to 
it ain't going to end too well for you, bro. If you got a good man, honor him. And if you got a bad one, pray for him. But the Bible said that these women were smart. It take one good woman to say, baby, you ain't got to be down here. Come here. I'm going to tell you what we going to do. Right, Corey? A good woman ain't no, ain't no me. It's we. A good woman, it ain't no just you. It's us. And she said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say this while we lift our offering. The Bible said that Adam and Eve was in the garden. That Adam said that she was communing with the serpent. Did you know that the Bible calls the serpent wise? Hear me? The wise serpent. That means for a period of time, Shell, she was talking to wisdom while Adam was somewhere asleep. And so that's why women know. If we say, baby, don't do that. No, baby, don't do that. A stupid woman? Oh, I know a whole lot of stupid women. Child, I know women who messed up and let go a good man. Thank you. Hear me. Women, I need you guys to get back in position. Get back to being ladies. If you're in a situation and you're being a punching bag on a regular base, I need you to get an exit strategy. If you're addicted to drugs or anything, I need you to recreate everything around you to make you sober. If you're a woman and you're broken, you don't know what to do, God gave you a level of creativity and it don't mean you got to lay on your back to get it. Or even sleep with somebody else to make sure your bills are paid. Come on, baby. There is greatness in you women. And I am speaking a declaration over your life that I declare and I decree that you shall be great and make your name amazing among men, women, and the world. I declare and I decree that every beating that you took to your face, that the next time anyone comes to hurt you in any way, shape, or form, that everything around them will shut down. I declare and I decree that if you have forgotten your confidence and you're depressed, and you feel like you are lonely, that you will tap into the creativity and know that God said that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are beautiful and it doesn't take Mother's Day, even if you have cancer. Honey, you are bad. I don't care what you get dealing with, you can recover. You can. It take one woman and you are that. As we lift our offering, I'm going to start my offering off today with five for me. Those of you who are under the sound of my voice, listen to me. If you're a leader, if you can hear me, if you can start your offering off, leaders with 100, if you can, leaders. I don't want your stimulus check. I'm not that kind of pastor. I don't want your mortgage. <laughs> I don't want your rent. I don't want your car note. I ain't that kind of pastor. This ministry is fertile. I need everybody here next Sunday. I'm going to show y'all something. If you are in your car, you can hear me. Be here next Sunday. We're going to blow y'all's mind. This ministry is a prosperous ministry. We don't have broke people here. We are descendants of Abraham. We are a blessed generation. Every seed that's put in this ministry harvests, flourish because I guarantee you, myself and our apostle Fred, we live the life that God is pleased. I'm not a false prophet. The Bible said, watch false prophets. They don't have no fruit. My fruit bears witness. It bears witness. Hear me. Those that can follow with 20, 50, do that. I declare and I decree. I need you to play that song for me, please, Kay. We're going to end this service today. And I'm telling you, ladies, you are confident, you are courageous. Hey, 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 hey. Did I just do that? Yes, I did. Hey. 
What? Where my ladies at? Deborah? Uh huh. Yes, I did. Where my ladies at? What? Come on. That's right. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. All right, where my ladies at? We in and our service. Y'all get behind me. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. That's right. Come on, ladies. Here we go. Move that, baby. Come on. Move that, honey. Fred, move that for me. All right, I'm going to show y'all. This is for the ladies. Hey, come on, ladies. This is for all my ladies who's suffering from domestic violence. This is for all my ladies going through chemotherapy, lupus, HIV. We gonna walk for y'all. Y'all bad. Y'all gonna recover. Y'all bad, ladies. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> 